primarily a um, wood furniture manufacturer. Um, we specialize in library furniture. Uh, we also do some courthouse furniture and um, corporate offices. Um, we do a lot of customization, especially in the library market. There is always some kind of custom component inside a library project, so we're happy to address whatever that custom component may be. We may get somebody from downtown ask us to, to plane an old, old piece of walnut they had it from the backyard. Is it okay? Yeah, we'll do that for you. And uh, we take pride in, in making uh, high quality furniture at a great value. And we specialize in library furniture and do uh, some courtroom type things and specialty uh, installations. Uh, in fact, we've done uh, the Utica Library and we've done work in the uh, Herkimer Library. So we currently have 29 employees. Uh, we live in an area where it's been notorious for woodworker, craftsmen, folks that have you know, been good with their hands for many years, generational um, craftsmen. So we're happy to live in the Mohawk Valley and we you know, love to have a place for those folks to work. Um, we've had some of these employees 20, 30, over 30 years um, working here for us and it's, it's important to us to, to work as a team and um, a family. We feel like family here. None of us could do it alone. We couldn't be where we are today without without the folks that work with us. Most recently, Made in America has been a nice, you know, story to tell since the pandemic because a lot of folks got their furniture stuck overseas in the water, so they were waiting for forever to get their, their products. So after the pandemic, a lot of um, architects and designers especially were saying, you know, is it Made in America? Is everything resourced right here? Um, and they were very excited to hear that hail was right here in America. Um, so, and we get a lot of our raw materials from around us, so that's why we love um, being right here in the Mohawk Valley is we have um, a plethora of nice raw materials, especially our lumber comes from the Northeast. So it's a great place to be for raw materials. We have an old woods molder, a four-headed woods molder. It was built in 1929. Uh, it used to be driven by belts from uh, shafts and belt driven and we converted it to be an electric motors. <laughs> and um, I can say sadly right now we uh, just uh, signed a purchase offer for a new molder. So it's time to retire this 1929 Woods molder. Uh, and our newest piece of equipment it currently is uh, a couple of CNC's we have up the front and CNC routers and they're multi-axis uh, routers and they do a ton of work for us and give us the ability to do all the custom work we do. You know, I guess sometimes you think you're flying under the radar and you do your thing over in the corner and nobody re really knows what you're doing or, or pays attention. So it's very enlightening and a warm feeling to know that we get noticed. <laughs> And it's, uh, I really, I really appreciate that and our, our people here appreciate it and um, we do plan on keep it rolling for another hundred years. I would hope our legacy would be folks enjoy doing business with us. And that's on any end of the spectrum, from our suppliers to our customers to our employees. <laughs>